But how the hell I know I'm getting the same shit back? But I'm skeptical. Well, it's the same thing if you anyways, that's a whole other thing. Um <laughs> I see where you went there. <laughs> yep, anyways. Um so God damn it, Cassie. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back, welcome back to your favorite podcast, Mindset Talks Podcast. Um, we are here to continue talking about your not-so-favorite topic on, again, your favorite podcast. Week after week. <laughs> <laughs> you can count on us. <laughs> you sure can, because that's one thing about us, is that, primarily speaking, we have been pretty consistent, so I'm very proud. Oh, super proud of us. It's, uh, you would think it's very easy to do, but it's not very hard to do either. But when you're in two different locations and adults with two completely different lives, it's Mm -hmm. throws in a few challenges. It does, but we make it work and we find ways to just kind of figure it out. Like there's times we're like, you know, we're not available, but we're like, we have to do this before Tuesday. Like, right. Right. Squeeze it in there. So and we make it work. I love it. I love it. Sometimes it's those those um moments when we have to squeeze in are like some of the best moments. Yeah, I think so too. And like I think we've gotten to a point now where we're just we cut to the the chase right away. So we're just mm-hmm. kind of like, okay, we have to record. Like we have shit to do, but like we're just gonna do this, meet up for like, you know, thirty minutes, an hour, whatever it is. And right. Like, is, love you, like talk to you later. <laughs> <laughs> okay, love you, bye. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much so ah uh, well let's cut to it all right so let's do that so you know that uh when you guys are listening to this or i'll say when this episode drops it will be the last episode for the month of february in 2023 oh so um we are going to well i'm just going to make you start with your <laughs> <laughs> with your last um black history month fact for us all right. Well, I have two. Um, I'm going to keep it short and sweet. Um, so for one of my Black history facts, we have a woman by the name of Marion Croak. And she is a woman who has assisted with the advancement of voiceover integration. So um, pretty much like when you have like like voice commands like through like before it was like through phone but she's advanced it to where it's through um internet so pretty much like having like video audio conferencing Mm -hmm. um pretty much us being able to do that is due to her research um her research and her pat patenting i can never say that correctly so i'm just gonna leave that where i put that um (laughs) but she so a little bit about her um, she started working with um, AT and T. It was at that time a different name, uh, Bell Labs. So she began her career with them, um, where she pretty much was a researcher and she was looking at like networking engineering. So that's essentially a little bit about her background that got her into the voiceover integration. Mm-hmm. Um, So the patent was inducted in 2000 and well, she was, excuse me, she was inducted into the Inventors Hall of Fame in 2022. So just last year. Yeah, just last year. um, And I know her career started in 1982. Um, Obviously, you know, looking at our technology over like the past like 10 years alone, a lot has changed significantly. So, Mm -hmm. um, but she was just recognized this last year as um, an inventor. So, you know, we have a black woman at that, right? Um, Not only is she black, not only is she a woman, but she is a black woman um, who is a really big part of today's world. I mean, look at pretty much like going through COVID and a lot of things relying on, you know, web conferences, you know, a lot of people working from home, um, you know, audio conferencing. So this is something that has been used greatly. And I wonder if because of that, if she's finally like recognized and inducted into the Hall of Fame after these past few years that we've had, where, you know, a lot of businesses have relied heavily on, you know, Zoom and team meetings and things like that. Yeah, no, definitely. It's become like a huge, like everyday thing now. And before COVID, it wasn't even really like a thing. 
right oh, yeah you know, it, it existed you like knew about it but like it wasn't mm -hmm. utilized as frequently so. yeah it's been heavily used um so that's one of my facts but um another fact that i thought was more related to us um in what we talk about mm -hmm. you know with having lost a loved one i was looking at black history and funeral homes so funeral homes are one of the like first kinds of businesses that black americans had after slavery so i thought that was pretty interesting and I always feel like when you look at like the black culture a little bit, like there's always like a black person that you know that owns a funeral home. Like I think about Is when, <laughs> like I like I feel like in different areas I've seen that because like even for my own personal life, like we know someone like we have a family friend that is our go-to for funerals which is like yeah. like when my mom passed I didn't really have to think about who I was going to go to for mm -hmm. a funeral home like gotcha. <laughs> and and mind you this isn't something that my mom and I talked about like it's mm -hmm. just because I know this person as a family friend um I know them to be commonly used in the area so it was just like oh well yeah we're gonna go with them because mm -hmm. one they're black and two like everybody uses them so you know why wouldn't why wouldn't we go with them yeah um so that kind of made me think like oh let me look at like funeral like funeral parlors and things like that and um it is said to be one of the first big businesses um it started in churches really where um i had wrote it down they were called uh burial societies where church members would donate funds to a burial society. So mm -hmm. pretty much they would be able to, you know, celebrate the, the so to speak, home going of the person who passes away. Mm -hmm. um, and it even kind of trickles back a little further when you go back to like Africa and Egypt and, you know, like mummies and pretty much having ceremonies and like, you know, I guess like glorifying the dead in a sense. Yeah. Um. So that is, I from what I've seen, that's something that is saying that it stuck with the culture. And, you know, as slaves, they weren't able to really give the proper home going as they would love to because of obviously slavery. Like that shit wasn't happening great at all for black people. So, you know, you lose someone that you're not even able to grieve and be able to just process that you have to just pretty much keep yourself alive for the next day in the next moment so um being able to have um these funeral parlors some people would have the funeral parlor in the lower level of their own home so like the basement level essentially they would use that as funeral parlors for some people um you know after slavery so i just thought that was pretty interesting to see and to share because you know we lost our parents and, you know, we talk about loss on here significantly. So um, I thought that was an appropriate fact for what we're going to talk about today, but <laughs> just in general for our show. Yeah, no, definitely. I think that is pretty interesting. Um, it's not something that I, I guess it's like to me, it's not really something that's like widely like known, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So, but, I mean, it's news to me. I think it's pretty interesting. Um and I like how you kind of like try to like tie it into, <laughs> you know, what we're about. Try to give a little relevancy, you know, so especially for our, our last day of the month. Like I said, Black History does not end in the month of February. <laughs> However, you know, I did want to take the time to highlight a few facts about our history here. So, yeah, that's that's what I'm wrapping the month up with. A little death. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, it's what we know best. And... It's suiting. <laughs> You know, I think it's perfect to end with that instead of start with it. So thank you, Amanda, for providing You're all welcome. of these fantabulous facts in the month of February. It's appreciated. Yes. And You're I welcome. am always about spreading the awareness and things because it is so important to really understand history and the background of these kinds of things. So yeah, for sure. Appreciate for sure. It. Yeah, no problem. I'm here. You know, <laughs> this is what I'm here for. <laughs> but um, anywho. Yeah. So let's get into today's topic since I feel like I kind of gave us a good segue into that. You definitely did. Um, because what we want to talk to you guys about today is different alternatives for burials. So what? <laughs> as you guys may have 
some kind of idea already, there are more ways than just one to have for a ways to like, um, let's see, carry, carry a way to care for a body <laughs> after you've lost a loved one, right? So you have like your typical like burials and cremations. Those are like the two like most widely known and used mm-hmm. like methods of how to care for a body. Um, right. But there are a lot of other weird things. Um, and I'm weird is the word is the wrong word to mm. <laughs> to use because it's only I only say weird because it's not usual. Um, and mm. anytime you have something that's kind of like outside of the box or just something that's like not traditional. So it's just kind of like, whoa, like, what is that? You usually go for weird is the go to word. Yeah, exactly. So I was kind of like There's some non traditional ways. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah, no, we definitely do. Um, and there's there's a whole bunch of them. So I'm not going to, you know, go through every one of them. Mm-hmm. Um, but there are certainly a few of them that I wanted to bring to the table. And <laughs> oh, boy. This isn't something that me and Amanda talked about before the episode, so she's going to hear this for the first time with you guys. (laughs) Um, (laughs) And some of them are things that, like, you've heard of, but, like, might not have done necessarily or known someone who's done it. But then Mm -hmm. there's going to be some other ones that's going to be like, what? Oh, boy. So Give them to me. Without further ado, um, (laughs) this first one that I want to bring up is definitely one of the quote-unquote weird ones. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's called tree burial and no, it is not what you're thinking. I will get to the other one after this one. Um, but basically Mm. this is a practice that is common in certain countries around the world. Um, in particular, the one that's listed in this article that I'm referencing is, um, something that they do in the Philippines. Okay. And so basically what they do (laughs) is that they will put bodies inside of like a coffin or like a blanket or something. Mm -hmm. And they will literally like tie these to the branches of the trees. So like hangs from the tree like an ornament. (laughs) Kind of. Okay. And for those of you guys that are watching the YouTube, I will pop up a little picture so you guys can see what's illustrated um, and what I'm looking at here. Um, But I thought that that was definitely something really interesting because like also that's very different that's gonna smell like really bad like that tree is going to be like the literal tree of death because (laughs) they when i'm telling you that they just have like these bodies just kind of like hanging like in the branches of the trees like it's like numerous bodies like so yeah so it's like we put this body on a tree and then say two months later someone else dies and they just add more bodies to the tree yeah so it's just one particular tree yeah i mean obviously they're i'm sure that they have like you know a grove of like trees or whatever um and they kind of just like use that instead of like putting them in plots in the ground with headstones they just put you know however many bodies they can fit in a tree and Mm. kind of keep expanding (laughs) for as many trees as they have because it does also say that in addition to putting them in the branches Sometimes they try to actually, like, embed the body, like, inside of the tree. Oh, and you said, like, they're um, <laughs> wrapped in blankets yeah, sometimes, other than, like, being put in a coffin. Mm-hmm. So they'll just decompose up there. Yeah. Is that safe? Um, I mean... Well, safe for who, I guess? Be- like, the air? <laughs> I don't know. I just... I was just wondering, like... um. Because, like, I feel like being, like, in a casket is, oh, excuse me, a coffin, casket, either way, mm-hmm. probably a coffin is more appropriate, Um, is a little different because, you know, it's enclosed. I mean, so but, it's a blanket if you wrap it the right way. But, like, a blanket, the, like, because the materials are different. Yeah, but, you know, let me, you know, bodily fluids can eventually go through anything. That's true. All right. Well, I'm ready to move on to the next one. (laughs) (laughs) All right. So to kind of like spin that one in like a different direction to the one that I'm sure a lot of people have started hearing about, because I do think that it is semi new, but it is more of like a known thing and might seem a little more, I don't want to say appropriate, because this is like a custom that people do in like certain countries, you know, each their own. But, um, 
an alternative. It's like I can guess this one. Go ahead. Yeah, you probably can because it's something everybody knows. Mm -hmm. Um, well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so this other one, instead of it being a tree burial, this is actually called tree planting. So mm. this is where you'll hear um, people who have their loved ones cremated and then they'll try to like put their ashes like in the soil of like a tree that's growing to have them kind of like their ashes will like grow into the tree. Right. Theoretically speaking. I, guess. I, I like that. Scientifically that works, but, um, but yeah. That one I could deal with. Yeah. Like I not like I could deal with because it's, it's really not about what to deal with. But like I that could be something that is non-traditional that I would consider doing. Yeah, I mean, they say it's, you know, good for the environment and stuff. And, um, you know, I don't really want to say this. It's kind of like um, insensitive in a way, but like, you mm -hmm. know, maybe it, ashes are like good kind of like fertilizer for. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's not too insensitive. I mean, I um, guess for some people it may be, but. For someone who has their cre cremated mother in their home, I don't, I don't personally find that to be too, too uh, risky of a statement. Yeah. So, um, that's definitely a thing. Um, so yeah, the yeah. trees, trees are a seemingly way to go. <laughs> See, I would in the, I would say I would consider that like if I am living in a home that I know I'm going to live in for years mm -hmm. because trees take a long time to grow yeah so i mean I, you can get a tree that's like already like established to an extent but i mean i would love to see this big huge tree bloom but then at the same time you have to think about it it's more it's beyond yourself so it's like your right. future generations would be able to see this tree mm -hmm. um but i think i like i like that but i don't like the patience i would have to have in seeing this tree bloom and be like ah the tree of my mom, you know, and it's just like, uh, or the tree of Chewy, because I literally have both both of their ashes still. So, yeah. and I really like, I part of me wants to do something with them, mm -hmm. but at the same time, I don't know what to do with them. Right. Well, and then part of me just wants to kind of like keep them like I have been. <laughs> yeah, no, that's true. I mean, you can always keep like a small part too and then do something with like the rest. Very true. Um, well let's see what other options we got here maybe there's something that can work with <laughs> yeah that's what i was gonna say work yeah. for me um well before we get into those ones that might be of interest to you um <laughs> this other one that i wanted to mention is something that i don't believe is used very often oh boy um, if at all um it's something that you see in like movies and stuff like that um but it's oh, okay here as being an alternative um and so that is cryogenic freezing so oh. basically when somebody dies they would just heavily um you know freeze them and you know how like they have those like um cryogenic like um treat therapies yeah yeah like things that you can go into and like help like burn like fat or like whatever mm -hmm. um that i'm sure that they have those kinds of like chambers where they just like put dead people into with mm -hmm. the thought that like one day in the future when our technology advances they'll be able to bring these people back to life. Um, it's pretty much like, um, for those of you listening and watching, it's pretty much like Austin Powers, pretty much, you know. Well, yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah baby! That's like the most, like, close way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, that's true. But he wasn't, yeah, he wasn't dead, though, when they froze him, was he? No. Oh, he wasn't. I don't think so. He, it was just a time travel for him, really. Yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know. It'll be interesting to see if that ever becomes kind of, like, a norm. But, like, also mm. weird because then, like, I don't know. Then you're really, like, messing around with God at that point because, like. That's creepy. Yeah. I don't like, foresee that to be a norm because America's broke as fuck. And, <laughs> like, our country is not as rich as people think we are. And we have way too much poverty within our country mm -hmm. um i personally feel like that i don't that could become more common but i don't foresee it to be like anywhere close in the ranks with like cremation and a typical burial right 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 and i think a lot more people will go with tree planting than they would mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> exactly mm -hmm. so yeah um let's move on 
Uh, Snowy. So there's a lot of other really, um, uh, I don't know if like disturbing is like <laughs> the right word to put it. Oh gosh. Um, but there's a lot of different methods aside from your traditional cremation of putting somebody in like a very hot like furnace and, you know, mm-hmm. turning them into ashes. Mm. Um, they they have a lot of other methods that they use like water or other types of like acidic chemicals. If you guys have watched the Jeffrey Dahmer um, Netflix. Episode. No, thank you. <laughs> um, he uses one of the methods to break. Not to referencing body. Jeffrey Dahmer. I mean, you know me. I like that kind of stuff. So. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't. That yeah. just exploits too much negativity into my life. Oh gosh. Well, carrying on. Um, there's a lot of methods <laughs> like that that you can do to really like break down like the tissues and things um, and to ultimately get some kind of a product like ashes um which i'm not going to go into all of those but there are thank you things out there um that <laughs> people can use um again in all professional settings please do not be jeffrey and do this in like the own oh my home. gosh Mm-mm. um but moving on the other one that i thought <laughs> was like really cool and interesting and i actually saw this in person once um and i'm sure a few of our listeners might have experienced it too and maybe just I don't know. It's like, it's so trippy. Um, so this one is called plastination. And, plastination? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so basically what this is, they remove like all of the liquids out of the human body. So it just kind of like sucks you dry and it just leaves like all of your like muscles and um, other like non- tissues and yeah. Yeah. Um, and like really just kind of like dries you out and what they do is that they kind of like turn these people into like mannequins and they put them into actual like museums like i'm trying to think yes i'm trying to think about (laughs) what the um oh damn what is i forget what the thing is it was like some exhibition that was like going around it's like um oh damn it i forget what the hell it's called but oh my gosh. It helps you like learn about like the human body and stuff. And like you actually like see these people who are kind of like just like completely like dried out. And like it's so interesting to see like what the human Did body Did they have this in like. New York? It They might have had it in New York. It was like one of those like exhibition things that like go around to like different cities and stuff. And I remember oh I went goodness. when I was like kind of young. Um, I just forget what it's called. It's called like the body experience or something like that Um, oh my goodness but this article also mentions that they do have it in madame tussauds as well Mm -hmm. um so maybe that might be what you're thinking of in new york um i know that they have a madame tussauds there right right um but i thought that this one was like really cool and again for those of you that are watching the youtube i will add a little picture up here so you can see um because amanda if you saw the picture i know that you would be like oh that looks kind of like familiar so oh lord Uh, (laughs) at least i think you would be and it is probably really would. weird, but like it was so like cool at like the same time. I don't know. It's just funny because when you describe it, I instantly just think of someone being all wrinkled up like a little raisin. <laughs> like that's the first because it's just like you hear a liquid being drained and it's just muscles and tissue and it's like raisin. I wouldn't well, I mean, maybe raisin or like not to like Hope you guys aren't eating while you're listening to this episode. I'm gonna put your sandwich down. <laughs> um, a little disclaimer. Um, but like beef jerky or like something that's kind of just like, mm. you know what I mean? Disgusting. It's like dried and shriveled. But when you guys see this picture, or while you're looking at this picture, <laughs> you guys beef jerky sales have just gone down. All <laughs> right. <laughs> what else do we have? Because I can't with that one anymore. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm deciding what order I want to go in here. Um, you know what? So let me go. Oh, there's just, there's so many good ones. Um, all right. So fun fact. Okay. Did you know that in, I don't think this is a thing in like all states, but like in some states you can actually bury your loved one in your property. Yes. I was aware of that. Well, I mm-hmm. learned, re- not today, but, like, I recently, in the past, like, couple of years, learned, like, that was a thing. So I thought that was yeah. Really interesting. 
I don't know how that's even been a part of a conversation or I've heard at some point, but yeah, I actually knew that and I don't feel a type of way about it. I just I'm like, oh, okay. Like you want to bury someone in your yard like a dog. That's fine. Yeah, it's weird. Like people like bury their pets and stuff in the yard, but like right. to bury like your actual like a loved know. one. Yeah. I mean, I guess it's a little bit different too when you look at like places that have like a lot of land or something like that and like i feel like people who own a lot of land and do like some type of like farming or thing actually if you do farming i'm not really interested in eating any of your crops but i'm just joking um because uh, mad shit happens that we just don't know about anyway so um but you know someone who has a lot of acres i think that it just would only make sense for a place that has been in the family for years and years. And, you know, you just bury the next of, you know, you, your next relative that had passed away on the land. That would make sense. So, but I just feel like burying anything on your land is usually a pet rather than a person. Yeah, definitely. Cause there are in like the States where you can do it, there are like restrictions on like how much land you have to have in order to do it. And like all these mm. things. So good. Um, yeah. So it was just like a fun fact. Cause I don't think it's, it's widely known. I wonder what kind of, and just random thought, but I wonder what kind of trees they pick in the Philippines to be hanging people from. Like, is it a specific tree? <laughs> Sorry, that was just a random thought. <laughs> well, Next I one. guess we'll have to look into that a little further. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, but so I'm going to kind of like, I have two more, um, okay. I think. And I'm going to kind of like generalize like a few of them into these two categories. Um, okay. So this next one, because I think the other one is like pretty like interesting. Um, mm -hmm. But so this next one, I think, might be of interest to you, Amanda, maybe. Okay. Um, but there are different things that you can do with ashes aside from planting them in a tree. Yes, there are. <laughs> um, so there's things where you can like make them into diamonds. Mm -hmm. um you or any kind of like jewelry really um mm -hmm. there's things where um you can do different kinds of like ornaments or like you know those like glass blown um like you can make them, like, ceramic like, pieces paper weights or yeah something like mm -hmm. that um you can do or one of the more newly interesting ones that i thought was you can actually put them into like um an old school vinyl so, you know, like the old, like, records that, you know, yeah, like vinyl records, um, you can put them into something like that as well, which I particularly thought was interesting because me and my dad it's used dope. to listen to his record player, like, all the time. Right. Um, so, I don't know. That, but I don't know if I would actually do that. Where the er, 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 ones and twos. <laughs> That's pretty dope, though, because if I were to do that, I know exactly like what song, like what record I would do for my mom. It'd be the Double Dutch Bus because that's like the only record I've really recall listening to with her. Mm -hmm. And she was fucking jamming. So really? I know that that was her shit. So yeah. that's pretty dope. See? I wonder so, how much ashes you, I wonder how much that costs. I don't know. But something to look into. <laughs> right, right. Or even That's the other dope. ones. I remember I, when I was first having the conversation with my mom, and I was just so not in a place to <laughs> have anything close to that kind of a conversation. Uh oh. Um, but I I did at one point consider like putting his ashes into some kind of like a glass blown mm -hmm. artwork piece. Um, but it's just something that like I'm not upset that I didn't do it, but mm -hmm. I just couldn't fathom. I don't know. The whole yeah. thing is, like, weird to me. You know, we have classmates that do that. We have classmates that yeah, um, do gonna... the glass pieces with the ashes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's oh, okay. pretty cool, too. Well, I think I learned that after everything, like, with my dad had happened. Um, mm -hmm. But, yeah, I, I saw that, too, and I thought that was pretty interesting. Yeah, they're really nice pieces, and I, um, I've i contemplated it, especially for, like, the dog. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. get like, I would a piece rather... with the dog and get some of his ashes in there. Oh, see, that would be really cute. Mm -hmm. I'll think more into it. I haven't forgotten about it. Yeah, I kind of want to plug that in there too, but like, I forget what it's called. Is it like pain in the glass? I think. Yes, it is. Something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, pain in the glass. We see y'all. We yeah. see the work y'all do. <laughs> it's it's really really awesome, and <laughs> but it's like hard when it comes to. Like we said, doing something with the ashes, it's just like, okay, I want to do something. And it's like, I 
I wouldn't be crippled, like, just taking a little bit of the ashes to do something, but it's just like mustering up that courage and energy to actually do it is where it's like, oh gosh. Cause then you just start to kind of relive all those memories when you don't want to. Yeah, no, it's a lot. And um, I'm different than you. I actually don't have any of my dad's ashes. Um, mm. Again, that was something that was like way too hard. And I'm so getting on a tangent here, but like I, mm. my mom was like, pick out, you know, what kind of an urn you want and like all the, and I'm like, I can't. Right. <laughs> like this is <laughs> pump not the brakes. No. Pump the so, brakes. My mom has like a little bit and then we buried the rest of him. So mm. um, right. mm. I don't know. Anyways, so on to another <laughs> topic here. Um, well, the last one that I kind of have is a few things that I kind of wanted to like lump together. Mm -hmm. Um, so there are other methods that you can also do. Um, and this one is I think they can be either um, like actual remains or ashes. Um, but there are places where you can have people buried at sea. And when I say buried, I don't just mean like going on a boat and like spreading your ashes. We did that for mm -hmm. my grandfather. I mean, like people get buried like six feet under, like in the ocean. Oh, kind of a thing. Wow. So it's like a whole like, oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Um, or there's like this weird thing too, where you can actually have them become um, coral reef, which is pretty interesting too. Um, oh. So they have like different like water type of burials, yeah, things you can do, which is interesting. Hmm. But how the hell you become reef? You're just a human. <laughs> I'm not. It's what I would think is that it's kind of the same thing as um, the tree planting. Okay. In a way. I don't know necessarily how like coral grows, but <laughs> No, it's gonna be like the first tree one where they tie your ass to a piece of coral and you just float there. That's what that is. <laughs> it could be. It could be. Um anything's but, possible. The more interesting one, so instead of being six feet under water in the ocean, mm -hmm. you also know, which I talked to my boyfriend about this before we um started oh, recording. Gosh. And he doesn't really believe that this is, like, actually real. And I'm kind of, like, on the fence because it just seems so crazy and, like, expensive. Oh, and just, like, is this really a thing? Because, like, humans don't even go there. Well, I mean, they do, but just, like, not frequently. But mm -hmm. apparently, you can also send your loved ones to space. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> and I purposely left that little pause in there. To see the reaction. Um, but so with this one, to I space. was looking it up and there's different things where um, I want to say this is more ashes than actual bodies. Um, but okay. you can kind of like send their ashes into space and have it come back to Earth. And that costs because you got to think this is going to be looking crazy um, from the website that I was looking at is that the cost can be about three thousand dollars. Which isn't That's not as high as I crazy. thought it was going to be. But how the hell I know I'm getting the same shit back? But. I'm skeptical. Well, it's the same thing. If you. Anyways, that's a whole other thing. Um... <laughs> I see where you went there. <laughs> yep. Anyways. Um, so... God damn it, Cassie. <laughs> but then that's why I didn't finish my sentence. <laughs> um. So you can also have them shipped off into space and you can actually have them stay there. Um, there oh was one gosh. reference that said that they would actually like go to the moon. But then I'm just kind of like, why are we wasting like real estate on the moon when we're trying to like figure out if we can like <laughs> do other stuff there? Right. Um, but that actually is way more expensive. And that would actually cost you about $13,000. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't have much to say anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I feel like I kind of just like ruined you. Um, <sighs> but so I guess my question would be: Do y'all think that shit is real? Like, are they really sending and shooting ashes up into space? Like, this website had like different like dates that they have for like when these rockets are being <laughs> shot up. There, mm, so. They taking your money and just shooting shit wherever and saying thank you. Yeah. See, that's what my boyfriend thinks too. Oh my gosh, like, because who's in, 
Oh, you know what? I'm not even going to go into that tangent. I'm really not because y'all know me. Um, but all I'm going to say is the government taxes us, right? Like these motherfuckers take our money for just being here. Like literally, they just take our money for being here. Why would they not just so-called send someone to the moon who's dead? So they're not even going to come back and validate if they made it to the moon or not for you. And they're going to take your money. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Yeah. Okay. Pretty that's much. where I'm going to leave that. <laughs> yeah, I don't believe I don't... that shit. I personally don't. Yeah, I don't know. It's a little weird. Um, That's a lot. Third, I mm. Granted, a lot of things are expensive <laughs> nowadays. Prices have gone up. But I mean, $13, actual burials. Can cost that much too, though. Wouldn't, that's yeah, why I said with a cremation, cool. also. But like thirteen thousand dollars, I can do a lot of other better shit than sending something maybe to the moon. <laughs> maybe yeah. I don't but know also, who even makes it to the moon. But just like how weird, like we're not even like sending like regular civilians like up <laughs> <laughs> into space like on a daily basis. So like, we just why and how is this a thing? Right. Uh. Mm. I'm pretty speechless. <laughs> that I doesn't know. happen too often. I'm pretty speechless. I know. That's why I wanted to save that one for last because I was just kind of uh, like, hmm, this is a little, uh, oh. no pun intended, out there. So, no, it's <laughs> out there. Outlandish for sure. Yeah. Wow. <sighs> wow. I didn't realize there were so many different options, um, which, you know, I know. Different countries do different things when it comes to burials and um, ceremonies and stuff like that. Yeah. But that was far fetched. The moon. Yeah. The moon. But of course, Americans, you know, I'm doing the most like, all the time. Oh my gosh! Oh. We yeah. wonder why we're in the predicaments we're in. Well, thank you for for sharing that because I definitely <laughs> learned a lot today. <laughs> Um, definitely looking forward to seeing those pictures when this episode is dropped. Mm -hmm. Um, because that tree one still kind of got me a little hung up, no pun intended. Um, <laughs> <laughs> in the Philippines, that's an interesting one, but no, those, that was some good shit. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. So hopefully you guys might try to break out of this norm tradition and think outside the box and carry on one of these interesting, uh, Ways to care for your loved ones. Yes. Don't send them to the moon. Yeah, no. Don't don't waste your money. <laughs> well, do you have any more uh hot burial facts and cremation gems and I don't think so. <laughs> ash fertilizers to share. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so, but um yeah, I don't know. It's just interesting as Time goes on the different things that people are learning that like we can do. And, you know, I'm all for turning people into diamonds because like, why not? But also doing things that are good for the environment, you know, because we just sit here and we primarily bury people and we take up all this land space. And, you know, how often do people actually go visit their loved ones? And, you know, great question. Things like that. So just kind of like at some point, something's got to give like we can't just keep to me anyway, my, my head. I'm like, we can't mm -hmm. just keep like burying people because like people are going to have to get like buried on top of each other or something like just. To, mm -hmm, right. Like, I'm sure in go? some places they do. I yeah. wouldn't be surprised. So wouldn't it be surprised? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, all of the <laughs> gems I guess I have for today. It was just, that was a lot. So, uh, yeah. well, that was awesome. So pretty much what we're saying in this episode is save the planet bury your loved one with a tree and have us have a new tree grow on this earth so we get more fresh air don't send anybody to the moon please <laughs> that's just my suggestion <laughs> but anywho we All do right, thank y'all cool. for tuning in to another one of our lovely episodes where we once again discuss what no one wants to talk about but we're here for it don't forget to follow us and subscribe and reach out with any questions and suggestions. And we're just here to support y'all in your process. 
and we look forward to seeing you see oh lord jesus oh, there i go oh, i done caught the cassie i done ah. caught the cassie we look forward to seeing y'all in the next episode we sure do bye guys bye